I'm going to give you a quick tip here on how to use your Navionics cards effectively with your Lorance units. And it's two things that you want to do anytime you have a uh, Navionics card plugged into your Lorance. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. This is a Navionics Plus card. Okay, and automatically it asks, do you want to change your chart data selection to view the inserted charts? And we're going to say yes. The next thing you want to do is you want to go into the chart options and there's two things that may or may not already be there but you want to make sure that you definitely have them. One of them is community edits. As you can see I just hit that button right there and now it is highlighted. That's going to allow you to see a lot of edits that people have put in. You know if it's fishing spots or hazards things like that you want to be able to see those. The other one that you want to be able to see is under view and you want to make sure that the fish and chip button is highlighted. It's a really simple thing that you have to do, those two things, but the difference between having it and not is, is huge. And I'm going to show you an example of, of two places that is much different just by hitting those two buttons. Okay, so this is a local lake here, and I want to sh again show you the difference between having the community edits and not having the community edits, and then also having fish and ship enabled and not. Okay, so this is a local lake, and I'm going to show you the difference between having that fish and ship button enabled and not. Right now, there's nothing enabled on it, and you can see it's basically a white screen with a few blue um, shadings for different depths. But once you hit that fish and chip button, you're going to automatically see a lot more detail. So that's a, a great feature that you, if you have an avionics card, you've got to have that fish and chip button to get the most detail. Now, the other one I mentioned is the um, community edits. So there's nothing on here right now um, showing community edits because it's not enabled. But once you hit the community edits, um, edits button, you can, I can actually see one pop up and there it gives me more details about this island. It says it's always under the water and submerged, you know, typically it's four feet and it also doesn't fully uncover. So this is a great tip that someone put in there, a great community edit to help save somebody who might not know it's there. You know, they might run right into it. So it's good that if you have those community edits enabled, you're going to be able to see those kind of things. So that's it. I mean, def definitely you want to have the fish and ship button enabled and the community edits button enabled to get the most out of your Navionics card.